Welcome to Thursday Morning Prayer as we remember the holy men of the Old Testament. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light, in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our Psalms this morning are Psalms 92 and 93. They begin, How good to give thanks to the Lord. O oh, sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your love in the morning and at night to sing of your faithfulness. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the Psalms. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Mark, chapter 8, verses 1 to 13. It begins, In those days when there was a there again a great crowd without anything to eat. Jesus called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion for the crowd because they've been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Canticle, the hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory. Glory is of the only Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received. And grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for the Holy Men of the Old Testament Blessed are you, God of Abraham, of Isaac and of Jacob, of Moses, of Joshua, of Elijah, and of all the men of your covenant. We pray you grant us their faith and resolution. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to say intercessions, prayers and thanksgiving. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen.